There's a fighting already to start on this right side, but there's an alternate fire. So dirty. They're finding the perfect range. Getting the one shot onto the Zenyatta. The healer down and dragging her off the edge. Depositing here on the side. This hog is on fire. She goes right into the face of the McCree, who goes down. My goodness, the filthy alternate. Give me the Earthshatter blocked up by the Numenu this time. So giving him a taste of his own medicine. That's going to be the sound barrier coming out from Animal Planet. They're feeling like they need to hold this here as they're starting to lose the numbers. So they need that extra health pool. But a big Earthshatter coming out from Kaviti. And that's going to be combined with the Primal Rage as he jumps onto the back line. But they're not able to find the kills quite yet. Just a couple more swings on the hammer. But a huge triple kill from the tire. Lele opening it up. Beautiful. Have Bolter support ultimate, so if this barrage comes down, they can make up for it. Yeah, they gotta wait for the red end of this transcendence. And when is Dantana can bring it out? Looking at the tanks, but where are the rest of the squishies? Is he able to bring out this rocket barrage? But looks for no targets, only able to bring out the D mech, but that's gonna draw the self destruct, so they have to get off of the point. Doting now starting to do work onto the ground on this tracer, able to full clip everyone, but those reses are coming through. Team One Nomimi trying to bring back the numbers to see if they can flip it. Team One. Team one will be trying to contest it one last time. Yes, this overtime and HPD has to throw his body right into the fray, but Ludi is right there to reinforce. But KDC also skating around. Lucio, so tough to kill on this point, but you can't, it's not about staying alive. It's about you need to get kills the other way. And now the kills are starting to fall here for League of Lulu. Team one leading the way, but the soft destruct is put up right into the air, and the soldier has nowhere to go. And he goes down, but the, tra the transcendence is able to keep this Zenyatta alive, but it's looking pretty bad here for Team one. Well, uh, congrats to our winner of this third and final round, Midi, with a strong eight kills. And Allegen not too far behind, finishing third, but with a strong nine kills as well. Unfortunately, they're going for that fancy grenade play, but when you're that close and you see and you hear them running around, it's such a risky play, and uh, maybe nerves getting to Allegen there at the end. It looks like Jamal's back, so we're gonna get him on to the casting desk. To get you caught up. We got you, we got you back, all right. So, all right, all right. <laughs> and this offense secure it on their first team fight microwaves are not healthy especially when they're up to 100 charge and dantana gonna chew down the rest of the supports cleaning it up there and empowering this reinhardt to get up to the straight to the front so hbd and ludi have some competition now for the best couple here on king's row <laughs> nikki going for the pin Patience from Nikki, waiting for the Zarya to go by unscathed. They didn't realize that there's a Reinhardt waiting in the wings. So the Earthshatter found everyone else, and the Graviton there was wasted by Team One. No Mimi, and now they don't have a lot of options for how to try to enter this fight. They just need frags. That's right, and it's now it's good Squad can try to figure out how to get onto the point. They do have an answer though. Konama with that ultimate, they're gonna be popping that Batay on the backside. He's gonna be bringing out that Dragon Blade. He's found a bunch of squishies on the corner. He gets down too and finds a Mercy off the screen. And now we're gonna have that discorded soldier who's running away. It is a futile attempt here as Tay finalizes the kill onto him as well.